Hello everyone, so I have another Your Creative Studio box to open today. This is for the month of February. All, a flower blossoms for its own joy. Oscar Wilde. Here's the card. And let's pull out the contents. I did not save the tissue paper quite so easily there. So what do we have here on top? This is one of the stamps. We'll go ahead and take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. It looks like a frame with some, mm, I don't know what to call that, but you can kind of see. And I'll stamp those out in a moment here. And then we have another playing stamp here. Oh, I think there's a couple in here, or more than a couple. Three. And oh, some lovely little flowers. So, let's see what those look like on some nice white paper with some Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink. All right, so here are the stamped images. We'll start with, well, the large one here. Very beautiful, has kind of a frame here. I did get a little bit of ink on the flat part, but I used my sand eraser to try to get some of that off. And then we have three small florals. So we have this one here, and then this lovely one. These ones would be fun to color in, like with colored pencil or some kind of tiny marker. It has a very fine bullet nib or something. Now we have the washi tape. Oh, this is a nice light color with like blue flowers. Like a nice, <clears throat> nice neutral background with some blue flowers, green stems. You can see there. And we'll set that aside here. What do we have here? This is a little collection of ephemera here. I really love this. I believe this is a sticker. Okay, after much, much struggling and probably, I don't know, I think this is just acetate. I don't think it's actually a sticker. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. If you yours turns into a sticker, but I tried and I think it's an acetate piece. So these two flowers, um, that's a little bit more challenging to use. I mean, I guess ooh, you could just staple it onto something with a little staple, but yeah, in the comments, let me know how you would use these pieces. I would love to hear. Um, you could do you know, an adhesive that doesn't show through, but a lot of times I find the adhesive does show through. And of course, it's very slick, so it's gonna have to be something good, strong, that's gonna really adhere. Obviously, I think super glue would work, but yeah, you would have to be very careful, or that would definitely show through. And, and I tend to get it, like, I'm gluing my fingers together when I use super glue, but. So then we have some tiny pieces here, and Let's see, are these ones stickers? This one does appear to be sticker. No, wait, maybe not. No, it's just got a slick back. Here, now I'm gonna have to glue that back on. Boy, these are tricking me. Okay, so they're slick, but yeah, I mean, the back looks like a sticker paper, but no, I think these are all paper. This box sometimes tricks you with things that you think are paper and are not. So I was checking, but I don't know. It seems like they're all just ephemera pieces. Okay, mystery over there. Next item, past memory. Ooh, I love the color palette here. And we have some dried flowers in here. So gotta be careful with those, because oops, like you can see right there, they will fall apart. So there's a couple that have come off mine in the packaging. I'm going to set them right there. You can see that's my little dried flower. 
delicately set that aside. These, I believe, are stickers. Hopefully I'm not wrong again. What a cute bunny. This one's paper, I think. It's, oh, it's like Alice in Wonderland. That's what it looks like. I wonder, I could put one of these in one of my little Alice in Wonderland journals, because he's got the little watch. It's just a totally different style there. September 12, happy day. What's, is that a significant date? September 12th? I don't know. Midnight streets I hear, I wander through each chartered street. William Wordsworth, huh? Love this blue and white color here. Ooh, this is really pretty color too. And then we have a calendar. Um, that's pretty cool, a perpetual calendar. I might just use this in one of my upcoming trips. Oh, and there's another, a white one too. I like that. Because that one might go better with my palette for the next vacation I'm on. Streams full of stars like skies at night. It looks like a little sailboat. Month. This is, oh, another little perpetual calendar. That's nice. This is great for journaling and stuff. Travel journaling, etc. And, oh, I like this one too. List, message. That's pretty cool. Let me have a closer look at what I believe to be the stickers here. August. Huh. Well, it's never too early, I guess. And then, so this one says August, and it is a washi sticker here. Ready for summer with that one. Is anyone else ready for summer? It's kind of the middle of winter here in the northern hemisphere, but, yep, yeah, I'm ready for summer. That's cute. Little, uh illustration. It's so tiny. I Hopefully. I don't know if you can see that. And then this says wind, wed. I guess it could be wed or short for Wednesday. Oh, uh, look. This is like a little paint palette with a, uh, okay, there we go. It's like a little paint palette and it looks like, I don't know, it could be Chinese or Japanese in the background on the parchment paper. That's pretty cool. The cloud. I bring fresh flowers for the thirsting flowers. Hmm. Interesting. And then the August quote. Okay, so I'm going to delicately set these aside because of the dried flower. Oops, there goes August. What do we have here? This looks like a nice little paper pad. Time Flies Bill Collection series. Ooh, it's like ledger paper. Yes, I do love ledger paper. It's in a smaller format than, like, say, you would use for pages in a junk journal, but it works great for, like, traveler-sized journal to decorate pages, and then this is great for collage as well. And they're just a great neutral background. It's really, yeah, really good for collage, you know, when you're mixing things together. This size is, let me check real quick, about four by five and a half. Yeah, so you can either stick that right in the middle and build around it or build on the side, but that's a good little size there. Land of all things in another pack of paper ephemera, I believe, here. We have a mushroom on top. Look at this. It's interesting. I love this. Kind of evergreen tree, little snowy look. That's a little more winter. Not that I need winter right now, but it's kind of upset. Oh, I like the tulip botanique. This looks like some wildflowers. Those are upside down. What's this guy? Grass and sheep in spring. It's very faint. I don't even know if you can tell. I think it's a sheep. Subtle. Ooh, love that one. I'm really having a hard time flipping through these. Ooh, dragonfly, he's cute. Like that one a lot too. Ooh, I like that one. It looks like a burlap, you know, but it's paper, but it, the, t the pattern looks like burlap. And this one I would say looks almost like canvas or muslin. muslin. Something like that. So they've got an interesting texture on some of them, like a printed texture. Oh, another little flower got away. And then this is a nice card that you can reuse in a journal. You can either cover up the back or you can 
use this as a sturdy cover to a journal. Lots of options there. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Ah, uh, now these are stickers. They look very similar to da -da, our acetate pieces, so these will go well together. But these ones say sticker on the package, so. And right away I can tell they don't feel quite as stiff. This one feels even more stiff, so maybe that's how you tell it's not a sticker, but oh, lovely collection. Ooh, I love that one right there. They're all just kind of purple flowers. I don't want to lose these and put, let me put that separate. So I'm going to set this just out of frame here. Then we have, let's look at this sticker. Ooh, this is the sticker that comes in it. It is clear with black and white. Kind of almost looks like a postage stamp, but it doesn't have that edge. Thirteen ninety-three. I wonder if there's a significance to those numbers. And this, let me see. I want to look at the tissue paper. It's a nice uh, pattern. These you're going to use. You, you can use in collage pieces of it, but you're not going to be tearing out images. It's just going to be one kind of pattern. Not sure. I don't know. I'm not making sense of that, but let's go ahead and look at this one. This one looks like it has lots of stuff in it. And it's got the lovely twine, which I always reuse the twine. Makes nice accents in journals and on packages and things. These look like stickers. Memo pad, it says. That would make a nice accent on something. So there's those with some numbers. Oh, why don't I untie this? There's an idea. I love this little floral imagery here. Or something. I think these are paper. Cute little mini like ledger items. Gold label brer. Is that supposed to be? Oh, brer rabbit. Oh, I thought it was beer at first, but it's not. Brer rabbit New Orleans molasses. Interesting. Oh, they're different. Okay. That one's got kind of a crazy eye going on there. Artificial glass eyes. <laughs> a little creepy to me. But, and then, those are nice. And finally, we have, oh, look at this. It's already ready to go in a journal as a pocket. Okay, totally doing that. I'll just stick that in a journal. I may or may not keep the writing that I don't understand. I could put like, ooh, could put a little sticker there with something behind, or put some cheesecloth with a little flower staple right in the middle. That'd be cute. So this is great. Definitely going to reuse that in a journal. Then we have some papers, and what is this script? Maybe it's just a really fancy Old English-like interesting botanical look there. Ooh, that one's, I'm not gonna try to read that. That's really hard to read, but it looks interesting and it plays nicely in the background. And then you don't mind covering it up when you can't read it, right? Let's go through this just a little faster. I don't think these are meant to read, to be read. <laughs> They're just a little too fancy. And then we have, this is like mulberry paper here, a couple sheets of that. And, or like handmade paper. And this one is a little bit like more, I don't know, less fibrous or something, but it's still, you can kind of see all that texture. And then this one has a really interesting texture to it. Yeah, I guess that one's hard to tell on camera, but you'd have to feel it. Okay, where did the package go? Oh, right, right here. Then we have some rub-on transfers. These ones have been fun to use, not these particularly ones, but uh, I have been liking the rub-ons that they've sent in recent boxes. They're pretty good quality, so you just cut out whoops, the image you want and, you know, remove it from its backer and you just have this clear part with the image and then you use the rub-on to rub it onto multiple different surfaces. You can even put it onto fabric, usually, like um, Burla not burlap, oh, I can't think, canvas, stuff like that. And lastly, but not least, we have the pack of 
ephemera paper that contains 24 sheets, 6 stickers, 6 vellum, 6 art, and 6 pattern paper. And let's have a quick look at these. Lovely floral and birds. Are these, these ones, if we start out with the sticker paper here, then we have a nice like garden chair with some tulips on it. Nice background sheet. Ooh, I love this background paper. Love that blue color. And there's another nice one with kind of a honeycomb pattern in the background and then a floral on top. Ooh, I love this blue in the background here. Little bird. And then it repeats in the paper and then art paper and vellum. All right, lots of fun stuff to play with this month. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. As always, please remember to put comments and ideas in below and yeah, let me know what you think of this kit. Thanks. Bye.